Hi everyone, it's Ms. Hakvari in the library. Um, I have a book I wanted to tell you about. It's called The Young Elites. It's by the author Marie Lu. She has other books in our library as well. Uh, the Legend series, uh, War Cross. She's a really wonderful author. This book, The Young Elites, is from our fantasy section. So the events that happen in it um, are pretty imaginative. They're not something that would normally happen in everyday life. Um, there is a little bit of magic to it. Um, and so what happens in this book, the world that our characters live in is not the world that we know, um, although it looks a little bit like it sometimes. Um, but the action starts in a country called Ketera. The main character, her name is Adelina, and she and everyone else in her country have gone through a really horrible thing called the blood fever. And if you contract the blood fever, there's a really good chance that you won't survive. Um, and those who do contract it and survive, usually their appearance has been changed in some dramatic way. So they kind of have scars that have been left, or something unusual happens to their hair, or um, maybe something shows up on their skin that wasn't there before, um, and everyone kind of knows. Even if you recover, everyone can see that you had the blood fever. And that is what happened to Adelina. She had the blood fever as a younger um, person, and now as a teenager, she's sort of marked for life. And so everywhere she goes, people know that she had the blood fever. Um, and they can tell because she has dark hair, but she has this white streak in her hair. Her eyelashes have turned white and she lost an eye during the blood fever. So instead of having two eyes, um, she has a jagged scar down the middle of her face where one of her eyes used to be. Because uh, this blood fever was so traumatic um, and because people look so different if they survive it, the survivors of the blood fever are sort of shunned and um, discriminated against. Um, they're sort of seen as bad luck in the country that Adelina lives in and that causes a lot of problems. The other thing that happens is there's a rumor that the people who've survived the blood fever actually have some powers. So their appearance was changed, but also they were left with some sort of gift. And that's definitely true for Adelina, and she's just learning about what her powers are. Um, Adelina is fighting to survive um, her father. Um, he is not a good person at all, and so she um, is trying to escape and find the group called the Young Elites, which are other people that have survived the blood fever and are using their powers to help bring about change in their society. So there's a lot going on in this book. If you like books about magic, if you like the idea of people having kind of superhuman powers, um, if you like reading stories where um, characters are kind of struggling to bring about justice, this might be a great book for you to read. Young Elites by Marie Lu.